If you need to create a horizontal line to separate elements of your document, you have a few choices. In this video, I'll demonstrate keyboard shortcuts for creating horizontal lines, using borders, and inserting lines as shapes. If you type three or more minus signs and press enter, Word will create a solid line that extends between the left and right margins. Typing three or more equal signs will produce a double line like this. And three or more asterisks will produce a broken line like this. This technique is a fast way to create horizontal lines that can be useful when you don't want to take your hands off the keyboard. For example, if you're taking notes during a lecture, you might use one of these options to create obvious breaks between sections of your notes. Another way to create a horizontal line is to use the border commands. You might already be familiar with these in the context of formatting tables, but you can also apply borders in the body of an ordinary Word document. To do this, simply click on the borders command and select the type you wish to apply. I frequently use the bottom border instead of an underline for headings because I like how it cleanly separates sections of my documents. One thing to keep in mind when you use this technique is that it can be fussy to keep the border in the position where you intend for it to stay if you include this as the very last item in your Word document. It's easier to see what I mean by this if I demonstrate. Starting from a fresh Word document, if I were to type title of my lesson and then apply the bottom border, when I press enter to move to the next line, the border will travel downward. The solution to this problem is easy. Just press enter a few times to create empty lines before you apply the border and it will stay where you intended for it to appear. I'll start by pressing enter three times, one, two, three, then clicking at the top of my document. I'll type title of my lesson again, and then apply the bottom border. From here, I'll press the downward arrow instead of pressing enter to move to the second line. I personally never use this last method in professional documents, but I imagine it could be helpful if you are doing something like making a poster with Word or trying to draw a diagram. This might also be a good choice for you if you wish to create a line that does not occupy the full width of your document, if you would like the line to have arrows at either or both ends, or if you would like a more complicated line that's not straight. For this last method, I'll start by going to the Insert tab, Illustrations group, and Shapes command. Then I'll select any of the line styles. I'll choose the basic straight line. From here, inside of my document, I can left click to make the line appear, grab either of the two ends, left click again, and move my line into position. If you use this method to create a straight line and you have trouble making it perfectly horizontal, click on the line to cause the Drawing Tools Format tab to appear, and then in the Size group, manually change the height to zero. 